Hello there, I am Mike from Vigil Gaming. I'm playing StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. This level is called Media Blitz. This is part 2 out of 2. Uh, starting my uh, push on the second broadcast tower, and then Manx is going to start talking, but he doesn't really start talking, but I think he's talking, but in my mind or something. So let's listen. This mighty steel giant stands as a testimony to the skill and determination of our Dominion engineers and scientists. Right, so that's, uh... That's, that is what it is, I don't really, uh, I can't really decipher that, if there even is a deciphering needed. But, um, yeah, don't forget to, uh, to use your, to use Odin's cannon barrage thing. Um, I don't know the hotkey, but it's very helpful for, for, uh, bases that have a lot of stuff clumped together. Uh, because it basically is like an area attack, well it is an area attack, and it just destroys stuff, so. That's awesome. Um... So, at this point, I'm in the second broadcast tower, got my base here. As you see, there's only one Thor, I believe, uh, two sets of mercenaries, or maybe even one still. Um, I, I don't think I get more than two sets of mercenaries in there anyway, but continuously building Thors. I do lose a, quite a lot of guys here, so um, I had to cut out some of the footage of me just rebuilding stuff, because that not only let me uh, stay in a time limit, but it also took out some of the boringness of just waiting around. But mostly, mostly because I wanted to stay in the time limit and didn't want to make this a three-part video, so... Yeah, um... I believe, um... I send all these guys out because I forget, again, I forget that uh, every something has to be in the uh, green circle at all times. And, um, it's not broadcasting anything, of course, at this point. Started my barrage on a worthless place, uh, didn't really do much, but, um... Whatever. Um, and the one thing you don't want ever, as you see here, I'm sending out two SCVs to start repairing, but I think they get owned by something at the ramp at soon. Um, one thing you don't want to do is send, uh, send one thing, one thing, like one person to stand on the green circle, because uh, they'll get rushed by like two things and die. Unless it's a Thor, but still, even then, uh, not the best of ideas, but... Here I got, uh, I lost a lot, as, as I said, I have one SCV working, I'm preparing my Odin, I got an, I got the Odin and a Thor and one a mercenary Goliath thing, Spartan Company. And uh, basically these two guys in the firebat now are just working, um, assault walking towards this base, just cleaning up shop. Um, this guy is going to start his barrage over here, while I believe not standing in the green circle, so still not broadcasting. Um, can't stress that enough. Stand inside the green circle so you can broadcast because that is really annoying. So I sent that as to be to repair the Odin because that's it was the only thing that uh, needed repairing. And um, yeah, I got another SCP and another Thor on the way here. So that's nice, I think. Uh, I got some reinforcements. And um, don't know why I didn't realize Thor was the, that Odin wasn't standing in the circle, so that sucks. But enough about that, clean up this shop, uh, getting uh, attacked in my base, and these guys are in the wrong position, so I send them over, they're gonna attack, my base is gonna attack by two banshees, and there isn't a lot that comes towards your base, it's like usually two of something, so as you noticed before, it was the two uh, goliaths, now the two banshees, so, yeah. And, um, they do a really good job of cleaning that up, and I am still not broadcasting. And I do have the, uh, the, the, I think it's the Protoss? research where um, you can build, uh, e you can either use the, you can either research refineries don't cost, don't use uh, SCVs or you can double build SCVs like there's a reactor on your on your command center, so that's what I chose because it's, it's better, because I get two SCVs faster. So, repaired that barracks and uh, I believe I'm going to wait out for some minerals to send in some mercenaries, no I'm not, I am going to set down this supply depot and I believe send this SCV to go mine and then uh, some cutting goes on here shortly finally realized I'm not broadcasting so that was nice finally able to finish it up and um yeah um so that finishes and uh that's two out of three I'm gonna be you're noticing cut here shortly um that's just because you're gonna notice like how large my army is now compared to how large it is later. It's not like that much larger, but I'm just saying, um, relatively larger. So, building two Thors, as I mentioned, a lot. Uh, main export is Thors. So, as you see, 
got some more Thors. This, that's where the cut is. Um, the is if, if you didn't notice it, as you see, I have a lot more guys here, so that's where the cut was. Um, and I believe I'm going to start pushing out right about now or some somewhere soon. Um, and I sent off my two SCVs for some reason, so I wanted to. I was trying to figure out if I could like get them to follow uh, Thor. That way, I don't have to like keep like when I attack walk. If they're not attack walking too, I want them to be repairing stuff. But decided to whatever, screw it, and out I go, start pushing. And um, yeah, so I have my Odin. I have one, two, three, four Thors. I have two SCVs or three SCVs maybe. A uh, couple medics, couple Marines, and a, a Goliath thingy, and a fire bat, I think. So. Really nice. Um, I think I started my uh, barrage cannon thing on uh, this base here. Yep, and did some good damage. As you see, that's a great way to do damage. So do it. And that's and this over here, as you see, the SCV is starting to re rebuild stuff. As I mentioned in the last video. So if you want, you can kill it. If not, you don't have to. There will be marines and medics that come by there and kind of uh, harass you. But um, if you have a Thor, it's just so easy to kill them. But yeah, so. Um, I'm 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 just gonna let the next ten seconds will be silent because someone's gonna start talking shortly. So let's listen. Can I keep it? Human tenacity and ingenuity have come together to forge the final answer to the Zerg's threat. So wise words of wisdom from the Pope himself, Mr. Menx. Um, yeah. Um, not much more to say to that. Uh, one thing you, I finally am starting to do well is uh, not sending my marine, it's not, not sending my medics into the front to get owned. I'm letting them stay back and actually heal so they don't die. And uh, also, once you start going to this base, um, if you haven't cleared out, as you see the west side of the map, I haven't cleared out that base. So all my guys are rally pointed to the guys here, but they're gonna go through that through the base I haven't cleared to um, to get here, and they're gonna all gonna die. So. Um, make sure your rally point isn't through here, um, through that base, because it's not that good of an idea. Um, the best, best, the best thing you can do if you don't want to like waste your time clearing out that base is basically just rally point them to your base and then manually get them to go over to where you want them to go. So as you see, I, my rally point for my factory is in my base, and I'm, um, I'm pretty sure, like at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty good in terms of, uh, in terms of my army, so. Not, not much I really have to worry about. So I sent my Odin to go uh, do some work over there with his barrage cannon, and shortly I'm going to be sending my um, one medic to go stand in there, stand in the green circle for a little bit, and he will do a good job until he dies. Um, uh, dies like a champion, actually. He, like, runs away and all this, so, and then he dies, and then we get there and we avenge him, so. Really nice. Uh, he does he, really good, I guess. Uh, not much to say, but as, at this point, I'm sending my Odin out uh, manually to get to this base because I don't want him to go through that big base I haven't cleared and get his base kicked in by a bunch of people. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't know why, but I really wanted to clear these turrets, um, even though I didn't have any air supports. They were like on some hill, and the guys couldn't get him. So at this point, there's a couple guys coming. The marine, and the medic runs away, and he dies. But we come very shortly afterwards with all my Thors and demolish um, everything. So that was nice. And then we stand in the circle, basically waited out. Um, I think I just left this Thor. Um, I don't know what this SCV was doing over here. I don't even know if that's an SCV, but uh, uh, the Thor right here, I don't think even he got to the base. He just basically cleared out this um, barracks and then, uh, yeah. But by the time it's all, yeah, basically I'm done. So thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Say friends because there's more videos to come. I am Micro Vigil Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. That's the last one. Let's see what the people will think of their beloved emperor now. All transmissions have been sent, sir. Every world in the Dominion just got a UNN special bulletin about Minsk. These shocking revelations, veritable firestorm of anti minsk sentiment. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. Emperor. How do you respond to these allegations of genocide? 
abusing aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I will stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. It won us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. But maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. <laughs> Kate Lockwell here, live from Core Hall. There's rioting in the streets. Citizens are setting fire to government buildings to express their shock and anger at the startling revelations from earlier today. Donnie, what's the situation where you are? I had a brother on Tarsonis. I had a brother there. Um, I, um... Right. Uh, th th thanks for that, Donnie. Uh, okay. Emperor Menx broadcast a statement earlier today. Unfortunately, UNN satellites were on lockdown at the time. Uh, let's replay a bit of that. This evidence has been falsified. The enemies of the Dominion will go to any length to soil my good reputation. These ruthless, slanderous attacks cannot... At that point, the Emperor was shouted down. He since retreated to his palace and refuses to speak to anyone. In this reporter's opinion, Emperor Mengsk has been revealed as a... Well, so you're thinking about giving up this life of luxury and becoming a professional broadcaster? Oh, regular folks just ain't ready for the raw sex appeal I'd unleash into the great little lives. I reckon my niche is right here with you, old buddy. Right to the end. I'm glad you're part of all this, Tychus. You did real good today. Those classified documents we found on Core Hall weren't anything special. Just referred to some old bioweapons lab orbiting Castanar. I think this one might be different. The file suggests they were planning to terminate everyone who ever worked there. I assume that doesn't mean firing them. But why would Manx want to kill a whole research staff? I don't know. But it seems like something we should check out. It does indeed. <laughs> you see? Told you I could build something better than that piece of crap, Odin. I like that. That's the spirit, brother. Show him who's boss. Got some work to do on the chassis still, but I got to thinking about upgrades and variants, you know? They ain't gonna be cheap, cowboy. Big honking thing like that never is, but they'll be worth it, you'll see. That's what I like to hear. I'll take a look and see what's affordable. <laughs>